happy at the same time. It's bittersweet. Yeah, you know what? Because this is a very final episode, we definitely have to have and kick it off and end it with a bang, of course. Yes. With two legends right here. Two legendary gentlemen. Of course, we have Luis Garcia from Barcelona and Liverpool as well. Yes! yes. With this Woo! team. But of course, we have our very favorite pundit here, George Boateng. Yes. Yay! Nice hairstyle, just like mine. Uh, <laughs> is this team bold? I don't know. I didn't get the memo. Shave your head, Shave girl. Your head. Yeah, you didn't right even get the memo for the t-shirt, Michelle. Okay. <laughs> the only one wearing blue. I want to be a legendary. Oh, That's why please. I'm wearing blue. Okay, okay. okay. Hey, let's talk to our guests. Yeah, okay, Josh, yes. you, you've been here for like maybe a year now or so. Yeah. How are you liking Malaysia so far? <laughs> I always say to that question, Malaysia Bole. Hey. Hey. And George, how did you end up here? That's the question that everyone wants to know. I, I actually retired from playing and then uh, one of my ex-coaches called me and he said, come and play for a team called T-Team. Okay. Oh. And uh, I said, but I already stopped playing. He says, no, you enjoy it. Come first on holiday. Uh -huh. So I came to KL, he took me around, and I saw, oh, this is nice. So I stayed. I never left. Wow. I remember that time I was browsing through a newspaper. There were rumors that you were coming. That's very recent, actually. Yeah. I think about two, two years ago, yeah. a year plus ago. Yeah. I remember that moment. I was like, wow, George yeah. Boating is coming to Malaysia. That's but the, you know, the funny bit was, uh, I came in KL and he took me around in Kuala Lumpur. It was uh -huh. nice. Uh -huh. So I agreed to, to play for the team. But then he took me to the East Coast. And I was like, really? <laughs> it's, it's nothing. Yeah. It's very tropical, right? A yeah. lot of trees and everything. But I'm yeah. sure you've been to the beaches there. It's, it's the nice. islands. There. Why do you so think good. I got this color? I went to the beach this morning. Are you sure that's how you got your color? Yeah, yeah, I Louis. put some this some is your first time in Asia, right? And yeah. how do you like it so far? Very much, very much. Enjoying. I'm just having a little. Yeah, I'm having a problem with the with the sun and the humidity, but I, I'm enjoying it very much. Okay. But you were playing for Kolkata for yes. a while back, right? So how is it different in terms of the weather? I'm no, sure you got used same. to it. It's, it's about the yeah. same. So you kind of got used to it already? Uh, no, not really. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get used to it. You can but uh, I, I like it. I like the sun, and so I'm enjoying the roaming here today with the, you know, the sun the beach, and the water and everything. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking like the beach, so yeah. enjoying it. Yeah. We heard that you tried our local food, Nasi yeah. Lama. Exactly. Uh, yeah. How's that? Ooh. Because maybe many people, when I arrive here, uh, was texting me, hey, listen, you have to try your food. Yeah. And trying uh, nasi lemak, is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So after a couple of days, I was selling down a little bit with the gel lag and everything. Uh, my wife and I tried uh, this breakfast. Was it spicy? A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's one one water, lots yeah. of water. No, I love the rice. The ri rice with the coconut yeah, and everything. Yeah, that was it. delicious. Very nice. That's very nice. Delicious. But George, you've been here for so long. What's your favorite Malaysian food? Uh, but I'm, I'm also a bit kind of a Klantanese boy now, you know. So. Wow. I, yeah, yeah. So, so I tried the nasi krabu, they call it or something. Yeah, the blue yeah, one, right? Yes. Krabu, yeah. It was nice. It was nice. It was nice. It's nice. your favorite. Okay. Yeah. Are you born here? Born in Malaysia now. I'm going to apply for a passport soon. All right, all right. Okay, question for you, George. You played against Luis Garcia. Luis, you played against George as well. How, how would you describe George's playing style? Like, is he uh, one of the best you played against or? Be careful what you say. One of, the, <laughs> one of the toughest ones. Yeah, one that, those kind of players you get into the game, you don't want to be around, you know, because he's strong. And when, when you get close to him, when he's got the ball, uh, he's always taking care of, of his space. Yeah. So he's yeah. controlling everything. He's a, he's a tough guy. Hey, what do you have to say about Lewis, George? What he said was before, when we had black and white TV, you know? <laughs> no, no, no now, now, old man. <laughs> no, Lewis. Luis actually is, is, is uh, vice versa to what I was doing. I did not like to play against players like Luis, like, like David Silva, because they get in between the lines between the back four and me. And it's very awkward. So I have to always look behind my shoulder where he is, where yeah. he is. Far and, away. Yeah, far away. <laughs> so if you guys were to play against each other now, who do you think would be better? It depends what exercise. Yeah, sorry, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If it if it's shooting and scoring, he will be better. <laughs> I if, hope so. <laughs> yeah. If it's about stopping opposition play, then that'll he be, won't have a chance. Be, uh, yeah. Okay. Aside from each other, who do you think is the toughest player you guys played against in EPL? In EPL? Yeah. Uh, Probably won't be the same. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Of yeah. course, because you're more defensive. Yeah. Than that, right? I think there were two players that I thought in my time were exceptionally very good, hard to play against, which was. Uh, Steven Gerrard and, and Paul Scholes. Oh wow! wow. Yeah, 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 those, wow. Teams, yeah, yeah, those were very, very difficult to play against because they, they seem to have something.
different than all the others, you know. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Uh, they can score goals from different angles, yeah. similar to, to Luis. And now it would be David Silva, which is quite hard to defend. Because players, you go tight, yeah. they can turn. If you don't go tight, he can shoot from 30, 40 yards. So it's quite hard. Okay. So I, I never liked playing against him because he was too good. How about for you, Luis? Yeah. Well, uh, I guess for me, Every, every game against United or, or Chelsea were, were tough. Uh, against Terry, Ferdinand, they were very difficult to, to play against Europe because they were, like, like Joe, they are strong players, fast play. I cannot be close to them because at the end, anytime I get closer to them, they grab me, they pull me, so no chance for me. I'm not a very strong player, so I have to be always far away from them. So I think Terry and Ferdinand, they were Carvalho yeah, yeah. wow. also at that time at Chelsea were hard ones. Now I'm sure football has always been a part of your lives, but growing up, what do you guys look up to? Mm. Which player was Ooh. your idol? Yeah. Interestingly, Lewis, you well, said me, you didn't watch much football. No, I didn't. I didn't no. Yeah. When I was young, no, I loved to play. I was all day in the street just playing with my with my friends, but I didn't uh, watch many, many football. Really? After when I grew, I grew a little bit more, yes, I started watching them. I used to look to 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 Michael Laudrup. I oh, play for Barcelona oh, wow. and Real Madrid. Yeah, yeah, I love the way he plays. And well, it's kind of play of like Iniesta. He yeah, said yeah, also yeah. he was one of his idols when he was a kid, Iniesta. Right. So yeah, Laudrup is one of the and players. And he played that, for Barca. Yes. <laughs> and he started watching for Barca. What about George? Yeah. Who's your uh, idol? My idol was uh, George Vea. Yeah, wow. because he he was similar like me when I was young. I played also as a number ten. And then he moved forward to the ninth position, but I went backwards to six. <laughs> he needed it more in the defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I looked up to him, and he was he was a top top player when he was at Paris Saint Germain and AC Milan. So I I always looked up to him. Then in in 2000 we played the last FA Cup final against Chelsea at Wembley, and then he came he was on loan at Chelsea. Mm -hmm. So all the players were after Zola's shirt after the game. I wasn't. I was only interested in George Vera. <laughs> He scored a goal from the home half, yeah. now you remember? Yeah. The one who got the ball yeah. in the whole, Solo, he ran the whole way. So I, I got his shirt, I was very happy. Uh, was, is that your proudest moment in football ever? Yeah, well, one of the one of the shirts I got that I really still admire, uh, because every game you change shirts, yeah, but, yeah. but there's always one or two that really... So where do you keep all your jerseys right now? Um, I really... Um, <clears throat> it's in storage. <laughs> He's very proud of them. You have them in the boxes. Okay. How about you, Lewis? Who's that one player that you always cherish having that jersey? I used to like to change with the player I, I, I played. For example, okay. with Xavi, Barcelona, mm. Puyol, the, the ones that uh, I used to play with uh, when we were oh, younger. So yeah. those are the most. Uh, of course, I got Zidane. It's mm. one of the, the ones that I like it the most to, to get it. But the, the ones I take care more is. Xavi, Puyol, Gabri, players who played with me in Barcelona, in Valladolid, yeah. and I played with. Mm. Okay, now that because we are in the hot, hot sun, seat. Yeah. it's time for us to play the hot seat. Literally, yeah. yeah. hot, hot seat because the chairs are hot. Yes. Are hot. And yeah. it's hot super seat. hot, we're all sweating. Okay, so how hot. hot seat works is that it's basically quick fire questions. We're all going to ask you, both George and Lewis, one, uh, question, each. one question each. It could be anything. Each can, of and us. You have to answer the first thing that comes to your head. Okay. Oh. Let's start okay. with Hafiz, maybe. All right. Who would you be, Spider-Man or Batman? Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Proudest moment in football, Louis. Champions League final, 2005. 2005. Okay. I'll ask George. If you weren't a footballer, what would you be? Fashion designer. <laughs> really? Fashion designer? No, I did fashion school. Oh, oh you did. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, that's why you laugh at my clothes, right? No, no, no. Okay, Louis, Louis, yes. Goal or no goal? Goal. <laughs> Next. He knows what we're talking about. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Only. 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 George, if you had a fashion label, what would you name it? <laughs> I would name it GB. 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 Like LV. All right, that's <laughs> awesome. I'm going to buy them. <laughs> I'm going to buy them. Not GB for Great Britain. Yeah. 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 Great Britain. Yeah. 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 Great Britain. Yeah. Yeah.
Exactly. All right, Lewis, if you had to pick one wish, whether it's for Liverpool to win the Premier League <laughs> or for Barcelona to win the Champions League, which they've won so many times already, I think, which one would you pick? Yeah, well, the Premier League. Uh, yeah, so we all. You can only wish for it, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, you hear what she said? You can only wish for it. Oh, Michelle. She's our guest of honor, Michelle. Yeah, Michelle. Plenty to do today, don't worry. Plenty to do today, yeah. Okay, Georgie B, now that you spent uh, quite a long time here in Malaysia, best Malaysian player. Best Malaysian yeah, player? Best Malaysian player. Shafiq, JGT. Shafiq? Yeah. Shafiq Rahim, okay. Okay, you Beautiful. know what? We've got plenty more games to play today because obviously we're in Subway Lagoon, so obviously we're gonna get wet, unfortunately. We are already wet with our sweat now. We have challenges for our two guests of honors, mm -hmm. and we're gonna be split into two teams, right? So this okay, is Team so we Garcia, Liverpool. Team Liverpool, and that's Team Dan Lion Lion. Hello, we are Team Netherlands. And we are Team Champions! Can I say something, please? Are we gonna get wet, you said? Uh, I don't know, maybe. It depends. Depends. It depends. 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 You know black people are built for land, not for water. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna be there, don't worry. So make sure you get security, <laughs> security <laughs> ready in case I drown. Right? Okay, shall you we shall we exchange there. shall we get the captains to so exchange? As any games you have to exchange. These are the different missions. Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> Good luck. Okay, we'll start with George Botting first. You're gonna have to read your instructions. You can read this out. We have a map okay. here. We've planted your first set of puzzle pieces at Rainbow Wild Life Park. In order, wow. to, in order to get the puzzle pieces, all you need to do is take out the Uberman products, spell out a footballer's name. Okay, mm. okay. got that. After that, go to Florida and you'll right. find the puzzle pieces stuck on below part of the platform. All you need to do is to serve down, downwards and snatch them. Okay. So downwards. All down. right. Okay. You're used to that, right? Going set. Okay. I'm gonna go. Right, yeah. right. Once you. Yeah, that's a different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah. different kind of diving. Once you, once you're done, meet us back at the beach. Assemble your puzzle and enjoy. Who is we? Who Ben? All right. Okay. We're gonna go for all the art What are we gonna do? Team Garcia. In order to collect your first set of puzzle pieces, you will need to go through the screen part first. Ooh, really no! Oh, scary one. Nice. And after that, get yourself in the Bubuzella to complete the puzzle. Ooh, the Once you're done, you made us back at the beach to assemble your puzzle. Have fun. All right. I was just about to say. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a disadvantage there. No, no. You guys are going to see. I won the last time, okay? I beat Far the last time. Hey, please. Okay, Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Team top, team top. Huddle, huddle. Huddle. Ah!